Hello, my name is Levi Thomas with Green Tech. Today I'm going to tell you about our eMatrix modules that we sell on our website. We have four different models using 18650 cells that are in one listing, so just decide which one you want to purchase before you add it to the cart and check out. The other one is a 21700 model in its own listing. So this first one is made by LG Kim in 2021 or newer. It's a 6S24P configuration with 144 cells. It's the INR21700 M48 with 2.5 kilowatt hours of total capacity. It has a discharge rating of 331 amps peak and then a charge rating from 0 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit of 33 amps. Over 75 degrees is 77 amps. These first two 18650 models are made by LG Kim. Now LG Kim's known to have a slightly longer total lifespan, but these two modules have a little bit less capacity. The first one is the LG BMH. It has a three kilowatt hour total capacity in this whole module. And then its discharge rating is 360 amps, even when it's cold out. Um, it even has a high amperage rating all the way down to zero degrees. The charge rating from zero degrees up to 75 degrees Fahrenheit is 35 amps. The charge rating over 75 degrees Fahrenheit is 111 amps. The second LG Kim is the LG DBM model. This holds 3.1 kilowatt hours, so it's slightly larger capacity, but it has a lower discharge rating of 180 amps peak. The charge rating under 75 degrees Fahrenheit down to zero is 35 amps, while over 75 degrees Fahrenheit is 83 amps. So this one has a little bit less of a a charge and a discharge, but it has a slightly higher capacity rating. The next two are Samsung's. The first one is the INR 18650-35E. It has a total capacity of 3.17 kilowatt hours, and it has the highest amperage output of 468 amps peak. Its charge rating is 61 amps, and then over 75 degrees is 72 amps. So again, this has the highest amperage output. So with a really high amperage output like that, if you wanted to keep it one in parallel, but just increase a whole bunch in series to go to way higher voltages, like 144 volts or even up into hundreds of volts, like the electric bus that it came out of, this is a great pack for the extremely high amperage and keeping a small footprint. Now this last one is also a Samsung. It's the INR186536. It has a total capacity of 3.33 kilowatt hours, so it's the highest total capacity out of all the other ones. The discharge rating is 180 amps, so it's a little bit less than the others, but with a high capacity like that, this is great for home energy storage where you can have a whole bunch hooked up into parallel with a small footprint and then have a total capacity that's just massive. The discharge rating is 36 amps and 83 amps over 75 degrees. So again, a little bit less amperage, but if you're gonna hook up a whole bunch in parallel, then your amperage increases and you don't need that high amperage output. So again, this one's great for home energy storage. Well, this one's great for more um, mobile applications like electric vehicles or scooters or four wheelers or whatever you wanna do. All of the eMatrix modules use spring contacts. So if you want to disassemble them, the cells come out completely loose. They don't have any spot welds on them. So if you want to reconfigure just the loose cells into say a 10S configuration for like a 36 volt stand-up scooter or a 20S configuration for like an e-bike or something like that, you can use your new cell spacers and new nickel strip and then spot weld right to them without having to clean anything off or tear anything apart. So it's a super easy way to have a ton of 18650s to put in your own pack. Or these modules themselves, these battery cases, are an amazing solution for both mobile devices and home energy because years from now when the cells were out, you can take them apart and they have all thread going through them, connecting them together. And then they even have a plastic tab system on them that once you line up two modules, you just slide them together and then they're locked together like that and you can just keep adding more on the sides. And then if you wanted to connect them into series, 
Green Text sells bus bars. They're not listed on our site, but if you buy multiple modules, just reach out to us for pricing and availability. We have one for the 21700s, which is a little bit shorter because it's a 6S configuration. And then this one is for the 18650, which is a 7S configuration. Now this is how you hook them up into series. So it hooks up the positive most connection to the negative most connection, which would make this from a 7S 24 volt to a 48 volt 14S configuration, or you could keep going to keep increasing the voltages. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see future videos. In our next couple videos, I'm going to show you how to hook up this 50 amp JBD BMS. This is a 7 to 14 S BMS. So in the first video, I'm going to show you how to hook it up in the 7 S 24 volt configuration to power an eye charger while a DC power supply assists. I'm also going to show you how to hook it up in a 14 S 48 volt configuration with two batteries in the center and then two more on the sides connected into parallel to double the capacity. And that 48 volt configuration is great for an inverter or something like that. In another video, I'm gonna show you how to program the Xiazang Electric app. And that's a great app in iOS or Android. And here we can see all the voltages of the cells, the temperatures, and I'll show you how to program all the safety parameters for the cutoff of the low temperature and high temperature cutoffs and the high voltage and low voltage cutoffs. So again, like and subscribe and go down below to see links to our other videos.